<laughs> it makes me feel really happy because like I'm not I'm inside all day so doing something else is very nice. Bucky could make you smile when you were sad, make you laugh at the silliest stuff <laughs> and make you think about super super deep stuff. Bucky, birth name Faden Easley, was a transgender freshman student here at Southeast. I go back and forth and we are unfortunately forever stuck at this point in Bucky's journey. Sometimes she's Vaden and sometimes he's Bucky. Last year on May 10th, Bucky took his life here at Southeast. Vaden was hospitalized in February of this year for suicide prevention. We, we didn't even understand in February how close we really were to losing Vaden. That I doubted myself in February when I took her. I thought I, I was walking my kid up and we almost lost her then. Mental health issues are very common today in schools and the world around us. Southeast has support and resources for students who might be feeling this way. Here at Southeast, you have a very large support staff that can, is including school counselors, school psychologists, school social workers, uh, nurse, even teachers, SRO, uh, coaches. If a student has an immediate emergency, they can ask their teacher for a pass right then and there and come straight to the office. If you think a student is feeling depressed or suicidal, there are some warning signs to watch for. When you notice a significant change in behavior or a statement that somebody has said, kind of those warning signs, maybe extreme mood swings or uh, a change in sleeping or eating habits that you're aware of. She was withdrawing from us at home. She was withdrawing from friends that she was previously close to. She withdrew from her art. She withdrew from drawing. She withdrew from her schoolwork and then withdrew completely from life. However, students might not want to get help because of the negative stigma associated with mental health. But peers can still bring light to the topic. If you found out one of your best friends had cancer tomorrow, you would raise funds, you would uh, gather around, you would support this person above and beyond. It's not the same with mental health. It's, oh, she has depression. We're not going to talk about it. That's the part that we need to get past. It's not something to just hide under the rug. Um, and we need to continue to express the importance of, okay, I've got a situation, I've got a problem, I need to get help. While some students do get help, it might not always be enough for the student to pull through. We listened to her in February. Um, when she made the suicidal statements, we took her serious. We listened and we got her help. We went through each step of the hospitalization with her, with the follow-up. You know, we, we thought we were on it. Although it is difficult for her to talk about, Mrs. Easley hopes others can learn from her family story and support their peers. If I could go back and tell myself something, I would tell myself that all that matters is that Bucky is here. And if you are that person who knows someone struggling, whether it's with school, emotions, mental illness, grief, or just life in general, talk to them. Be uplifting. Because we do not know what tomorrow brings.